Hey guys, we are back with What's Sold on eBay. I'm Cameron, my beautiful wife, Linda, here. We, we can't say What's Sold on eBay because we sell on other platforms. We sell stuff on eBay and other platforms, including Mercari today. So yes, we do sell stuff to make money. Uh, this is not our best weekend, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. This is kind of the ebbs and flows of thing uh, of a business. Friday was awesome for us. It started, uh, Linda's questioning my uh, use of the term, but it's correct, I hope. And uh, Friday was an awesome day, and then it just kind of really sucked Saturday and Sunday for us. Probably one of our lowest weekends totals ever, but there are still a pretty, some pretty cool items here, some stuff to look out for, and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day for us. But just guys know that even though we have a big store and we sell a lot of stuff a lot of days, every once in a while you have stuff like this. So keep listing, run sales, do what you can. If you do promote listings, try those. Take some offers, try to get the ball moving again, and um, enjoy the good times, and also plan for the slow times, too. But even, even with that being said, our weekend was great because our baby girl turned one on Friday. Well, you guys are already seen this after the fact. So. Yeah. But, yeah, we had a, one, our first birthday on Saturday for her, so I didn't list on Friday. This week was kind of weird because we weren't, Monday we were feeling, our family wasn't feeling well. We were dying. So we, uh, like a 24-hour bug, and then uh, we didn't list that day, and then we didn't list on Friday because we spent the time cleaning up the house. So those are some things that probably contributed to a little less activity in the store. Maybe it played a part. I wouldn't expect it to have been this slow considering, but anyways, that's how it goes. Let's get into it. So, how did we do today? Today we had one sale on Mercari for $44 shipped. And we had 27 sales on eBay for just under $8.65. So, if you add the two, we're basically getting our average, which is $300 a day. Which, our average is, or not, I should, yeah, it's about our, our minimum goal, I should say, not our oh, average. Yeah. It's our, not our average, but it's our minimum goal. Our average is more like 400 and something a day. Somewhere around there is where it floats. So it's our minimum goal though, which is good. And the other platform helped out, but we need to do better than that because we want to push our business obviously to grow. We want to expand. We have things we want to do as a family, um, get a new car one day, you know, things like that. So YouTube money doesn't really cut it. Unfortunately, we, <laughs> we're not one of those making a ton of money on YouTube. So we got to put the uh, the time into eBay and Mercari and stuff to you know, to just get the get where we want and get where we want out of life. So let's go ahead and get into it. First item on Mercari. It's a really cool story, so we'll spend a second talking about it. This is a Logo Seven. Um, I think it's Fedorov Red Wings jersey. You said forty-four yes. bucks. Yes. The guy made an offer. I listed at fifty-four. It's free shipping. The guy offered forty-four. I accepted the offer, but he said, "Hey, my mom gave me this a jersey like this when I was a kid, and then she died. Unfortunately, she passed away." And um, he lost the jersey in the hospital somehow when he was visiting her. It got He said it got lost or stolen or something. And he found it again and he wanted to buy it. So awesome story for there. I'm really glad I accepted the offer without even knowing that because I'm happy it's going to someone who's going to appreciate it. So 44 bucks. This goes on our Mercari. Oh, our Mercari sales have been mostly sports items yeah. or the... You know, the medical, medical. stuff. That's all yeah. that's sold on there. So I'm going to keep listing the jerseys and sports stuff over there. On eBay, though, let's get it going. First item. First item we have is a USS Lake Erie um, mess souvenir plate. Yeah. Uh, it says uh, something about the ship and something about our Navy Chief. And yeah, Lake Erie stuff. CC70 CPO mess Navy Chief Navy Pride. And this plaque itself sold for $17. That came in the military buy. This is one of those pieces that was just sitting in there with all that military clothing. So that was cool. This one was awesome. It sold in like an hour or two. Apparently this I under list, underpriced it. is Half-Life for PS2. But this one is just the case and the manual. I see a sticker. I didn't mess with that. I just left it there. Uh, this had a garage sale. A guy was selling his, some of his old games because he's having a baby. So... Right. We found one of the game. We found a weird thing in one of the games though, that I bought from him, but <laughs> it was like a little. Anyways, um, uh, this was two bucks. It did. It had a different game in here, a spawn game. He goes, I don't have the original, but you can still have it. I think he only charged me a dollar because the game was wrong. And this by itself, case and manual, sold for twenty dollars shipped. Uh, I think the complete game goes for fifty. All the other ones were selling for about sixteen shipped. I probably should have listed mine a little higher because it sold really quickly for 20 But yeah. either way, we'll take it. 20 bucks for a dollar or $2, whatever I paid. Plus, 
I got another game that I can sell for about 15 discount. Then we got a couple of Auric um, XL canister brush parts. So these are the ones you can add on to it so you can do some different things with them. Yeah. And uh, two of those sold for $22. They came out of a box. We bought a bunch of Auric. I bought a bunch of Auric stuff for five bucks. We were going to sell another piece here already and these sold pretty quickly and I had another little set to sell. So it's probably going to end up being like 60 or 70 bucks for a little $5 box of vacuum parts. Then we got a Mizuno baseball or softball glove, and this one sold for $35 shipped. Yep, definitely nice and worn in. We've talked about it before, guys. Some people like them worn in. I know I do because then it saves you all the time of having to practice with your glove. It's just ready to go. Nice and... Not that you've played in years. But... Yeah, it's been a long time. I'd like to play again, though. Softball, that is. It was fun. Anyways, that sold for? $27? That sold for $35 shipped. 35 bucks. I think that was 5 bucks. <clears throat> then we got this cool this vintage is... keychain. This is from the D.A.R.E. program. So you remember when those guys would come in in the red Drug shirts. abuse, and resistance education, right? Pass out the bracelets and the headbands and little all that stuff. keychain so, for yeah. a little D.A.R.E. collector. So this one did sell for $10 shipped. I want to say I still paid a dollar. I was like, oh, this is going to sell. It took a while, but it still sold for 10 so we'll take it. And then we got a vintage, one of those, like, I don't know how ones, vintage it is, but it, maybe it says, I think I copied a list, but I don't really oh. think it's that old. It's one of those ones that's like the... They're called the Mountain. It's the, the Mountain, yeah. They're like the big animal graphics on it. You can't yeah, really tell where these. it's always a solid color t-shirt with, like, looks like mist in the background and then some kind of animal. And that one did sell for $25 shipped, and it is going global shipping program. Yeah, and I think that one was a dollar or something like that. I don't sell one of those. They usually sell in, like, the stores for, like, 40 bucks when we go to on vacation we see them. <laughs> and, uh, but use, if you get a nice print one or something, sometimes you can get, like, 15 to 20 bucks for them. So that one did a little bit better, and it went global shipping. But yeah. I wouldn't go crazy on those if you see them. Then another Auric part. This the is same one. Uh, the, same. the HEPA filter for it. Yep. Um, and it sold for eighteen dollars shipped. Brand new. That one. The, those both those uh, vacuum parts sold within a weekend of me listing them. So again, pretty good items. That Works sold. pretty good va vacuum. That people yeah. Get. So if you buy the parts, you know those sell pretty well. Uh, we have another set of little attachments too, so hopefully it'll sell pretty soon. Then we've got an as is Minolta Hymatic. I'm not gonna take it out of here, but it is in here. Camera. It's a thirty-five millimeter camera, and that is actually the Minolta case on it because I know we sold one. I think last week that wasn't the original case yeah, for it, it was but aftermarket this one. one's original and it sold for twenty five dollars. Doesn't work. It has some issues. I forgot which it, what it was, but we took a best offer for twenty five. This one's cool because I almost donated this. I was like, um, it's not gonna be worth anything. Comps weren't really there, but this is. An autographed T-shirt, the Los. Let's see it. You're Hispanic. Los Principes de la Musical Drangues Gense. I don't know. That's your best guess. And that, but this T-shirt did sell for thirty-five dollars shipped. So. The best offer. Um, it came in a big lot of just shirts and stuff that I bought, clothing, and it is autographed, but I don't have any COA, no way to prove anything, but. Again, it's all for 35 so I'm happy about it because I almost donated it. Then we got one of these B-Tech amps. This is our second to last one. We're mm. almost sold out of them. Sad. Um, but this one did sell full price for $135. $135. we are in them for about 10 bucks a unit, so they've <laughs> been very profitable. Then we got another t-shirt. This is a vintage oh. Fat Farm oh, yeah, almost like a, yeah, like a Hawaiian style bowling shirt, I guess, almost. Yeah. Uh, but it did sell for fifty dollars shipped. This is the second Fat Farm one we've sold that's kind of in your face, big graphic. We sold a yellow, I think it was a yellow one with like a bull on it or something like that. I forgot. Well, that one's got the bull on it also. Yeah. It just isn't as intense. The one was like a big yellow bull. We sold that for sixty or sixty-five bucks, guys. So that like Fubu Fat Farm, you know, some of that like I guess it'd be early two thousands, maybe nineties. I don't know. That kind of stuff, people are buying now if you can find it, especially in big sizes. So it's something to keep an eye out for. I don't think that logo. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> Fat Farm is always something people think would be good as a reseller to, to pick up. But there is some money. We've sold a few of them if they're kind of big in your face graphic. So this is for a Ninja Blender. It's a 72 ounce pitcher lid and the blade replacement parts. Yep, all in one. This is what it's sold for? Oh, sold for $55 shipped. I had the uh, the canister and the blade. I bought, for five bucks, I bought two canisters, two blades, and one lid. The person only had one lid. I sold one already for 50 or 65 bucks, whatever it was, one full set. 
I kept this and said, one day I'm going to find another lid. And this past weekend was the weekend. I found it for two bucks and I bought it. It matched up. It worked perfectly and it already sold for 55. So that was cool. I was happy that, uh, yeah, I ended up coming along and finding that. Then we've got a button from 1985. This is the LA Lakers World Champs button that says Boston Sucks. This and is a cool button right here. This button is actually a bestie buy. And it, I paid five bucks for this, which it does, there's not much. You're like, why? I'm just like, I'm like, someone out there needs this. And someone did need it, and they paid $40 shipped. 40 bucks. Is that a global shipping too, or no? No. no. 40 bucks for that little pin, guys. And it's just like, I could make this now. But it is vintage. I can tell it's an older one, but it's, I mean, there's not much to it. About 40 bucks. Awesome. That's the thing. How do you even verify that it's vintage other than like... I think in the 80s, some guy just made this and printed it out like, I hate Boston, so I'm making it. Like, it's not like official LA one, I don't think, or anything. No, I don't think so either. 40 bucks, pretty cool. Then, for PS2, we've got Need for Speed Most Wanted, and this one is complete and sold for $15. Shit. We bought this with Half-Life as well. This one was 2 bucks. It is complete, so one of those games I knew was pretty good, and it sold pretty quickly for 15 Then we've got Golden Axe. I've never played this one. I've seen it quite a bit. Or Sega Genesis. Yep, just cartridge only. Cartridge only. And that one sold for $20 shipped. Another good one there. Then we got a genuine Panasonic remote for a, a CD, CD for, system. Yeah, portable CD stereo. I wonder if it's like a for your car. Portable, I know I have one for my car. Portable, I don't know. Maybe not. Portable stereo CD. I guess maybe it's one that you like carry with you, like a little boombox. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Not but it is then, going probably. global. Portable. No, Glo going global shipping program, and it did sell for twenty dollars shipped. Love our remotes. Some of them are slower sellers, but twenty bucks for this. I mean, you were, you're probably going to spend a dollar or less in this at a garage sale. Then we we've sold got this guy, the thing from the Fantastic Four. He is a nineteen ninety six Marvel action figure, and he sold for fourteen dollars shipped. Fourteen bucks on his way. We're really clearing out our action figure bucket. When I went through my death pile, I listed a whole bunch. This whole bucket I filled up is starting to get a lot smaller. So Linda should be happy. It's all out of the death pile. <laughs> Problem is, we replaced the death pile with other stuff, so it really didn't do much damage. Anyways, then next. we've got the six. Uh, this is out of the hundred fifty dollar animal buy. Animal, animal buy. We did not buy an animal. I assure you that hundred and fifty dollar anime buy, guys. This is the six disc uh, collection of Martian successor Nadesico. Good job. And that one sold for seventeen dollars shipped. Keep making money on the anime buy, and we're not done, guys. Probably for the next year, we'll be selling stuff. Skipping that one. Then we've got an original Phillips. Uh, TV remote. Yeah, it's one that's a smart TV. You can tell because yeah, it it's, it's got, got Netflix, Netflix and, and stuff Voodoo on there. Um, um, and this is a Bestie buy, and it did sell for ten dollars. He knows I like remotes, so he charges me a buck for every remote I buy. I didn't even know what it was worth, but um, it sold for a buck, and they were a lot listed for less. I don't it know. Sold for more than a buck. I mean, it sold for ten. It paid a buck, but there were some listed for less, and mine still sold. So then, just the other day, we sent out some speakers, and now here goes same some more. ones. Huh? I mean, same set, just a different. No, those were well. We did sell these ones, but the last ones we shipped out were the Onkyo. Yeah. yeah, we did sell. We had two of these groups, though. Yeah, we, we sold did. These. This is our second set to sell. These are a pair of Sony front sound speakers, not the surround ones. These are just the front ones, we front, sold right, the and left. Ones, I think, yeah. Already. Um, no wires, no nothing with them, just the speakers themselves. Um, they are going global shipping program. They were a bestie buy, and they did sell for $30 shipped. On the whole Sony speaker system and the um, receiver, whatever it was that it came with, it was 10 bucks for all of it. So we've already sold two sets for 30 We have the sub, and I think we have the, the receiver piece, and so we'll make some pretty good money. We've done really well on speakers, guys. I used to always pass them off. I've told you before, but if you can get... Don't get the huge ones, but, I mean, you get these little ones, people will buy them for replacements. Easy to test. Yep. Next. Then we've this got one's a cool too. Hawaiian-style um, Harley Davidson button-up, and this one did sell for $45. Shipped. It's been up a while. I think I had it at 65 so I had it pretty high, but it was on sale, and then someone offered. We went back and forth and met at 40 so... Trying to move some stuff when it's slower, guys. Gonna take some offers. <laughs> Next up, we have a K and N high flow air filter. Mm -hmm. um, it is new, but it is an open box, and it did sell for thirty three dollars and some change. We have, I think, two of these ones. These are from the um, the guy that sold us other manuals. We bought a bunch of Toyota parts from him, and this is another one to go out. So pretty good there. That was like a five percent off to Watchers or whatever. 
Is it a Toyota part or is it a K&N part? Well, K&N's the brand, but I think it fits like a Lexus or a Toyota or something like that. Most of the parts were either OEM Toyota or they fit a Toyota or something like that. Gotcha. Next up, we got a BlackBerry Curve purple smartphone. And we did sell it for as is because you can't use the Blackberries anymore. And this one did sell for $25 shipped. 25 bucks. I don't really pick up the phones anymore because of that reason. Well, don't pick up Blackberries because you can't use them. Next up, this is a, <laughs> this is a weird one. five piece set. This is Mosaica Polska, mm -hmm. uh, Polish English vocabulary. Um, it's kind of like a magazine, kind of looks like a magazine to keep your Polish up to date, is what it says. Oh, there you go. Um, and this set of five did sell for twenty five dollars. It's from the seventies, so I don't know if the articles will be as relevant. But <laughs> I mean, I don't think they changed Polish. Oh yeah, just often, for the Polish but... <laughs> is good, but the actual reading material, I don't know. Either way, um, these were from one of the big book buys. I'm surprised they sold. They were listed at forty five. Offer came in at whatever it sold for. I didn't even counter because I'm like, the chance of me finding one other person to buy this is very slim. So you got to take the your The fact that somebody's and, looking for that. I'm like, yes, we'll take your money because we don't know one another. Same with yearbooks. Certain things, guys, if it's a really unique item and you're like, I don't know how people want that. And you get a solid offer where you're making some money. Do not run away from that offer. Now, if it's a video game and you're like, there's a hundred people who want this or a jersey and you know you're going to sell it, it's okay to wait. But... If you got some and you're like, I'm not sure how many people might want this, take the money and run. Yeah. Don't 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 turn away because then you might get stuck keeping some. That's my tip. Anyways, unless we're gonna learn Polish, I don't know if it's very useful to yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. It's just not a, a common thing. And if someone's learning Polish, they're gonna buy a new book that teaches you how to Polish, not one from the '70s. Yeah, it's true. So most of you wouldn't even list that because you're like, no one's gonna buy it. But next up, how about some chances? Uh, horror DVD lot. Um, this is It, the Terror from Beyond Space, not the It, the Clown. This is the It, the Alien. Yeah, different. And It different sold. It's. They're both It's. Get it, it sold for $18 shipped. Look out for these uh, midnight, midnight movies. movies. We sold a couple of these. I've mentioned it before. I'm not saying every midnight movie is worth money, but look out for midnight movies. See at the top of a DVD. Take a look at it. Some of them have some value. That's a used DVD for 18 bucks. Next up, our last sale for the night. We do have about 30 minutes, so we'll see what happens. This is a new tag, 511 Tactical Men's. Like slacks. Like, pants. They're like not. They're like utility pants, or I don't know what you want to call them. Like uh, more like for a security guard or something like that. They're like kind of like Dickies. They're like Dickies, but they're like better. Like they're more security based. Gotcha. But if that makes any sense. These are from um, our local Salvation Army, and they did sell for $40 shipped. We spent 8 bucks on them. They're brand new with tag. We got two of them. So the good news is that uh, if the other one sells, we'll be in pretty good shape. So 40 bucks a piece would be awesome. <laughs> we're waiting on two payments, 60 something bucks for two different items. And if you were following us along, the jeans we were waiting on, the lady never paid, so she speaks lies. Because she assured me she would pay, and then time just kept going, so... Maybe she'll come back. But that's all we got right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There probably won't be anything else. But if there is, Linda will be back. And hopefully Monday in the next video, we'll have a lot more to show you guys. Still, either way, there were some cool items here to keep an eye out for. Some things I think you should be looking for. And, you know, like I said, Boston sucks. We're out. <laughs> See you guys. Bye-bye.